Hey YouTube, it's Charisma. It is pretty late, but I did promise that I would do a video on my takedown. Now, it is um, Sunday, January 25th, and I had to think about it for a second. It's like about 2 o'clock in the morning, so, um, but I didn't find the time to do the video any other time but this time, so... I already started taking out my hair and I left this little part in the front, like four braids. And then I still have the two cornrows. So, um, and I'll show you what I did was I took out all the braids and I did it just with my hands, no comb. I didn't comb it out or nothing. And as I got through each section, I just braided all the sections. That way I could just keep my hair detangled. And I put it back in a ponytail. And so now I save these parts to show you how I do it. Now what you can do if your hair is dry and you're taking out the braids, you can put coconut oil on your hands. And, you know, that will help to kind of moisten your hair up or, you know, um, provide some kind of slip or something like that. But my hair, pretty much I've been putting coconut oil on it. Um, every day so it's absorbed Cocon coconut oil is one of the oils that your hair absorbs it won't sit on top of your hair so um, I'm able to apply it every day and not have any build up so remember when if you if look at my video when I put these in if you haven't looked at that video look at that video because I braided the single braids and then I twisted the ends on purpose so that when it's time for me to take it out it makes it much easier to take out and then I don't destroy my ends because you know your hair grows from the root and if you're trying to retain length if you keep breaking off the ends then you don't see the length that you're retaining if your hair is growing an average a half an inch a month it could be less or more depending on genetics so since I twisted the ends it's already really easy for me to take out I can kind of like unravel it with my hands and you see. And another trick to this too is when you're braiding and twisting, you don't want to borrow hair like when you run out of hair. To borrow because then when the, what, what happens when you do that is that it kind of prevent, like it makes tangles when you're trying to take it out. It just makes things not so easy. You see how easy that was? So the ends are already loose. So now... I have like three strands for where the braid is at and basically I take my braids out like this I kind of have a little trick where I'll just pull a little bit and it'll unbraid a little and then I'll go down like that and that's it I don't use any combs or anything like that I just take my braids out effortlessly just like this no problem see just like that nice and easy there aren't any tangles I didn't borrow any hair and you just you just want to be really gentle with your hair see and that braid is out so when you have braids you don't want to keep putting like heavy products like shea butter I only put shea butter in my hair when I install the braids after that I don't put any more because if you you may notice that that shea butter you put in one time will build because it's thick and so when you begin to remove the braid you may find like a like a lip ball kind of or like a ball of the shea butter or whatever and then you would have to really be cautious and try to separate that ball and then remove it and try not to you know damage your hair so these are just little things and tips and tricks that you can learn when you're removing a protective style so if you're taking out a weave and you had braids under or if you're taking out braids you had extension hair or if you're taking out braids or twists with your real hair I would recommend that you do not comb through the hair dry because remember your hair has been braided it's been in the protective style for who knows how long and you have shed hair our hair sheds every day so when your hair is in a protective style that means that shed hair has been accumulated in your hair so and shedding is normal so you don't want to just start combing through it dry because that shed hair has caught up with the hair that's not shedded and it's going to create tangles. 
So you want to be really, really delicate and gentle when removing the protective style. And that is the purpose of me telling you to put conditioner in your hair. Let it sit in your hair. And you can look at some of my previous videos. And um, that conditioner will soften up your hair. And so now when you go through each section, you're going to be going through each section very gently. And removing the shed hair, starting from the ends all the way up and then you know you'll secure that and move on but I'll do a separate video on that portion but I just wanted to show you the actual removal okay, of the braids. I'm done taking them out and that's it so in a separate video I will show you how I detangle this hair so thank you guys for watching and I love you all bye bye